gonna make history. Today, you gonna set the standard. Today, you gonna be who God called you to be. You gonna do what you've been called to do. You gonna talk like you talk, you gonna walk like you walk, you gonna bow like you bow. Why? Because it's time. You think we spent all that money on these helmets? You think we spent the money on these new uniforms? Yesterday I asked you, what do you need? Somebody said cleats. Did you get that? Yes, Somebody sir. said gloves. Did you get that? Yes, what else you said yesterday? What else you said? Huh? But all the accessories, we got them for you, right? Ain't nothing else you want, right? Ain't nothing else you need. So what that's telling me? It's time. Did mama come to the game? So what that mean? It's time. Tony, did mama come to the game? What that mean? I seen somebody's father. Who was that? Big fella. Did I meet your father? What you thinking? He thinking. Who just called somebody before they got it, when they got back in the locker room to check on? What did they tell you? It's time. Ain't going to yell no more. Ain't going to scream no more. Ain't gonna shout no more. You got to be a darn fool if you don't look around this locker room and don't understand. Baby, it's what? Uh -huh. What you gonna do with it? Time is opportunity. Time is opportunity. Time is opportunity. Fellas, I don't take none of this for granted because I believe in each and every one of y'all. That's why you're on this trip. I do not take any moments for granted, our relationships for granted, because I want you to be men and go out there and change the world. And we have the opportunity. All these cameras are exposure. All these people came to see y'all put on. So right now, what time is it? It's time. It's game time. It's game time. Fellas, I believe in you, man. I believe in you. And you know how I always end it. Now give me my thing, man. <laughs> hey you guys so you saw that's how the gym looked in the training room looked if you looked in the background that was the point of me showing that and to show Man, like I said in another video, he is just one of a kind, a one of a kind coach. Like that was, I know they all connected with him because even if I could feel his energy and I wasn't there and this was like fucking eight months ago, then I'm pretty sure right in that moment, um, they definitely felt that. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it looked. Um, and now I'm going to show you, you're going to see after this, how it looked once he, you know, redecorated it once he upgraded everything for them just to get in that professional feeling to be around something that's nice they can, you could just when you around something that's nice you your whole attitude change you could take it more serious and so look at their expressions too um of him just surprising them like y'all ready it was that was the moment too where i'm like oh my god like damn air hug like that was just so sweet to me. So I just wanted to show you guys that. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh This is going to be nutrition lounge. It's going to be the lounge. You're going to see tables and chairs, but you will have games. You will have probably several TVs on the wall so the kids can play PlayStation. You have two barber chairs. A few barbers, we need you on the rotation. Us. Oh, this is problem, I got a question. How do I get to the pros? You work, man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Not that y'all have a problem. So when you get injured, you know, we got to have a bigger restroom for the injured guys. Oh, yeah. You got a bathroom, you got a sink. We're going to make sure we have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh and clean. You get something for that. That's the exit. This is going to be the part that y'all got no excuse. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Okay, so y'all saw how it looked after he hooked it up, okay? So I showed you before and I showed you after. And so another thing before I end, what I wanted to say was there's a lot of people, um, you know, talking about, yeah, he gonna have to, you know, um, you know, do what he got to do as far as Colorado State and him being the head coach there. Uh, or he going to get, they going to be ready to fire his ass. Yeah, if he don't do this and that, they going to be ready to fire his ass. And you know it's going to be haters in the bushes looking, waiting, looking at the games. Just pretty much not looking at it because they're a fan of Deion Sanders. But because, or because they proud of him. But you're going to have them ones, uh, you know, looking in the bushes, just trying to see where he fuck up, um, just to criticize him. And, and what I want to say to that is he's not playing football, okay? He's not the one who's actually playing the football game to get the score to get the touchdown he's coaching them okay he's coaching them so it's up to them okay to want it um as much as he wanted in order for things to uh be on one accord to make things a lot easier for him and to actually see some outcomes see some you know for them to actually win the game and and, and actually see some progress they're gonna have to you know listen to him and desire it and want it just as much as he wanted. You know, it's not going to fall on him either, no matter if they fire him because he don't win a game with Colorado or not. It's up to the players at the end of the day to be on one accord with Deion Sanders and, you know, listen to him. We already see he already, you know, we already know that he is a great coach. OK, and he has shown us that he has proven that. Right. So just because even if he don't win um, any touchdowns or any games at Colorado, Right. Uh, it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't take away his, um, you know, the way he coach. It, it just doesn't take it away. He's still a good coach. There's no way that he can go to me, maybe because I'm a woman. He could go from being a great coach to a, a sucky coach. You know that to me, this is impossible. But maybe men to say, yes, you can. I don't know. But it's up to the players. You see that Jackson um, State player, football players, they wanted it. You know, um, you got to desire this. And I totally understand, you know, um, Deion Sanders when he when I listen to some of his um, speeches before he before they start playing and just his he's a motivational speaker. You know, just listening to him, he he's on. It's the truth. You just got to want this like I do. You know, like if you're here to play, you need to take your ass somewhere else. Why are you playing football anyway if that's not what the fuck you want to do? This, to me, this ain't something that you get into just because somebody forcing you to or because you ain't got no other goddamn choice. To me, if you decide to play football, that's what you desire. So if you desire it that much, then you need to uh, start walking in it and, and, and showing and, and putting in the work that it takes to show that that's what you desire and what you want, you know? But again, like I said, it's going to be up to them to take heed in what, you know, Dion is teaching them, um, what he telling them. They, they, they again, going to have to want it. And, and if they don't win any motherfucking games, it ain't Dion's fault. So I want to put that out there. All right, you guys. So with that being said, y'all have a wonderful night. I always end with be careful out here because these motherfuckers is crazy. They just be wanting to just the damn. What was the guy? He's the president over over. He's, he's sitting there talking about, yeah, I want Dion to fail. Yeah, I want Dion to fail. I want him to fail. I hope he fail. You hope he fail? This is a black man saying this too to Dion. Like, is you is you that mad that he left from Jackson? You sound like a bitch that scorned and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, I want him to fail. Like a bitter baby mama and shit, nigga. What the fuck?